How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm doing better. But this is the easiest I have my core bags ever. Hopefully it doesn't need to be good. Yay! This morning we're headed out from Vientiane and we're headed to a town called Vang Vieng, which is about an hour bus ride. So yeah, we're about to take that bus in about 10 minutes here. So we enjoyed this place, but we're kind of happy we only stayed here for two nights because there honestly wasn't that much to do. So yesterday we didn't do much. Um, we actually just kind of hung out and we had a nice dinner on this boat that they turned into a restaurant. But other than that, we didn't do anything. We saw everything we needed to see on the first day in the city. So we definitely don't need three nights here, just maybe two. But uh, also, we're, I'm just trying to be kind to myself and take it easy because I'm run down again. So I think that I've realized the pro of traveling to countries after a pandemic and after they just reopen is that there's less tourists, things are cheaper, and it's really it's not as crowded as nice. But the con is that my immune system is trash because for the past couple years, I've just been sitting at home with a mask on, isolated, and not getting sick. So now, this is my second time getting sick on a year of travel, which I guess isn't that bad, but... Not that bad for two months. But yeah, so, we're gonna head out. Alright, so a tuk tuk picked us up at our hotel, and I thought we were about to be riding in this for the next hour and a half. <laughs> but apparently they're just taking us to the bus station. To a new van for some reason. Pretty nice though. Still looks pretty nice. the bus now and we're rolling our luggage down the street in hopes of finding our hostel it is only like 11 30 and we're not supposed to be able to check in till 3 and the Airbnb host stopped messaging me when I asked them if we could check in early so I guess we're gonna go see if we can leave our luggage there and go kind of explore the city wish us luck We thought we'd give you a little room tour. It is bright in here, don't worry. <laughs> but um, I have the lights turned off because when with some LED lights, the frequency makes the cameras flicker. Um, so I just have them turned off. Anyway. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry that I'm a little sick. I know that's not cute to watch, but we'll just do a little quick room tour. So it's 12 o'clock and our check-in was supposed to be at three. They let us in early, but we're just staying at a hostel called Freedom Backpackers Hostel. We got the room with the private bathroom, so that's nice, but um, it's quite large. We have this like whole open, I don't know, I guess seating area. And these little windows, but just check out the view, it's cool. Sick mountains in the background. I feel like we're getting a little taste of Kathmandu here. Um, and then the rest is pretty simple. We have a pretty large bed. It looks fairly clean in here, so that's good. And we have AC. And then just a toilet. And actually the shower is separate from the toilet. It's kind of cool. Surprisingly. So anyway, this place is pretty nice. It was $10 a night to rent this place. And then the host was doing some sort of deal to attract people back to Laos. So we got $10 off. So for four nights here, we only paid $35 after fees. That's crazy. Yeah, and this looks like a really fun city. There's a ton of backpackers. Oh, so And many. there's a lot to do. So probably right now we're gonna get lunch and explore the city, and then tomorrow we'll start doing some little adventures like zip lining and kayaking and blah, blah, blah.
so we came out of our little hole. <laughs> Patricia's still feeling a little bit sick, but we're going to find some food at this place that's on the river. So maybe oh, that'll be a nice cake. review. Patricia loves cake. <laughs> um, and then we're going to see if we can book some sort of adventure for tomorrow. We forgot to take a video of our food before we destroyed it. <laughs> but we both got chicken sandwiches. And a little doggy is here. He looks a little bit scary actually. Hello. Actually it looks cute. Anyway, food is great. It's really cheap. And you can't put a price on this. Oh wait, I mean this. <laughs> Oh, this view is pretty awesome though. Okay. Patricia, you thought that tasted bad? So right now we are going to Tham Chang, which is like a set of caves. So we don't really know what's there because my Google Maps is offline because I still haven't got a Lao SIM card yet. Uh, but yeah, we're just walking over this bridge over to this island called Thavisuk Island. And it's very beautiful. So it's all about the journey, not the destination. All right, so the walk turned out to be like way longer than we thought. And also Google led us to some dead ends. So we are walking back into town trying to find a tuk-tuk and all of a sudden every single one of them has disappeared. So we'll see if we can actually get there. <laughs> 